<clears throat> Asad says, what about long distance relationships? I really don't like long distance relationships because the entity that we are, the way we live, experience this life on this earth is in two forms. Because our entity made out of two things, mind and the body, physical part and the mental part. Now, when you have a long distance relationship, you can't actually assess the other person or affect them with your abilities in the totality of who you are and in complete way that they, who they are. You can maybe talk about some wonderful things on the phone or on the internet see each other all dewed up and nicely sitting there and talking nicely. But there are no challenges, day-to-day -day challenges that comes up that you need to deal with or see how the other person deals with it on a day-to-day basis. So the effect of their mental presence is very limited on you and yours on them. So you really don't know, can't get to know what their mental capacity, what their order, what their consciousness is like about what their conditioning is like about, if you guys can be compatible or at least work on it or not. Because it's all, like, scripted. It's only a snapshot of the light, life, maybe in a couple of hours, two hours, talk and so on. And usually you'll be talking about pleasant things because you want to be pleasant to each other. So the masks are on, funny bits are on, no special challenge, and there's no physical contact of actually going somewhere, sitting and having tea or dinner or engage in some kind of a social event or just outing to see how you each other react with, with life, with world, with the reality of it, rather than just this scenario of just talking, which everything in short term is pleasant. People can keep a good face when it's only just an hour and half an hour every day or whatever. So, a human being may be able to satisfy their mental needs um, somewhat uh, through telephone or Skype or whatever communication, but their physical needs, which is part of the way we are uh, put together, it has its physical needs, which is the companionship in close proximity of discussing, seeing each other, having tea with each other, walking, having sports or activities, that is not there. And that's also another need. So in the middle of your long distance relationship, you or her, the other side, will end up meeting someone who actually brings that physical need, uh, provides a physical need as well. And that gives a certain kind of a psychological security to them. Elusive as it may be, but they feel like there's somebody physically, not, not distantly, is actually present in their life. And that gives them certain kind of a security, a good feeling, like I'm two people, I'm more than one, I'm more powerful. And all of that would cause to kind of distance themselves from that distance uh, relationship. And that could be ending up with... Uh, you know, heartbreak, hardship. So I, I don't think uh, when there's something real, you should go for something illusional or hopeful for future time. Usually wouldn't work. That's just my take on it.